Hey guys, and welcome to Shamanic Rain again. Today we wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you about the chakra system and how to realign it. Uh, most of us out there realize that the chakras, each of the chakras in our body is one of the main energy centers, or wheels if you will, um, channels allowing the minor energies to be able to move through. So they're the governing centers of our body. Being the governing centers of our body, they generally spin in a vortex shape. Uh, and it is important to be able to keep the flow moving within that vortex to clean up the darker energies and the debris because as we go through emotional change um, as we go through all forms of change in life we often have there's an impact on our chakra system and by allowing our chakra system to align again it puts us in the best place we can be to make them move through the transformation we're going through so every bit of transformation allows these chakras to fall out so it's really good to get into you know whether it be a daily practice or a weekly practice in realigning the chakras so today I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you guys about uh, one of the ways in which anyway that we can realign these chakras it's super simple to do for you guys at home or to do for your family members so we're just going to teach you here today how to do that using one of our favorite little toys the pendulums Oops. so you will actually see down here we have seven different pendulums because we can today uh, we have all the, the colors of the chakras available in crystal form here, so I've, I've been able to, to borrow them from the shelf. But the first important thing to understand about this process is that it does not matter what form of pendulum you have, it is the intention that you're putting into it that really matters most. So you can certainly use one pendulum to align all of the chakras. When we do align the chakras, it's always important to remember to start at the bottom, at the base chakra or the root chakra, and then to begin to move our way up to our higher chakras into the bridge chakra, which is our heart, and then into the higher realms of our um, crown chakra, third eye and our crown chakra. That way, as we open up the higher vibration energies coming through, we are very grounded and clear in our base chakras and in our lower chakras, because having the debris um, in the lower chakras obviously puts out our higher chakras in the bridge through the heart center. So the first thing we want to do is locate a pendulum that hopefully most of you guys have at home. And the first thing to do, I guess, is make sure the pendulum works for us. We're all a little bit different, guys. Some people aren't as susceptible to pendulums as others, but most people work pretty well with them. So one of the first things we do, if you haven't already, is just want to check if the pendulum's working for you. So to do that, we simply want to be able to get into a rhythmic flow by getting it to work with our subconscious, with our subconscious mind. So essentially what we're doing is letting it know that for it to, if we want a yes for, from the pendulum, we're going to get it to spin in a circle. So I'm actually just going to do a quick question and I'm going to ask the, the pendulum, is my name Kevin? and we're gonna get the pendulum with a circle as a yes or a backwards and forwards line as a no just to respond and to show me that the chakra, that this pendulum is working for me. So I'm gonna ask you now, pendulum, you already knows what I'm asking, is my name Kevin? And you can see there that without any form of movement from my hand that the pendulum's already begun to spin in a circle. So it's right now, it's confirming that Kevin is my name. And we now know that this pendulum is aligned to me and ready to go for my work. So I'm actually gonna put this down. This is something you should all do. It's a really good idea to do when you're buying a pendulum as well, because some resonate to you and some don't. I'm very lucky that every pendulum I pick up seems to work for me. So I'm going to pick up a crystal that, lo that resonates to our base chakra and we're going to start there so to do that i've picked up a obsidian pendulum to begin with which actually has the chakra stones on it which is always a, a neat little addition to a pendulum that we're utilizing to realign our chakras so as I said, we're gonna stay at, start at our base chakra, guys. Our base chakra is located right at the base of our spine. It's a little lower. Um, so generally the easiest way, I guess, to understand it is it is in the place behind our anus and, and our, our private places. Um, so when we're aligning our chakras for ourselves, it's always important to hold the chakra that we're aligning so we're sending the intention through. So when we work through our base chakra, I'm gonna place my hand right down low, right uh, 
basically in between where, where my anus and my genitals are. And now I'm gonna simply ask, what we're looking for, to be clear, is this, the chakras are spinning, spinning in a clockwise vortex. So what we're gonna ask the crystal to do is to show me how my base chakra is working now. So the first thing we're gonna do, pendulum please, if you can show me and mimic the flow of my base chakra. And we'll see now the crystal gets going. Okay, and what we're seeing from that is we've got a nice wide round circle. It's moving fluently, it's moving at the same pace and it's definitely a circle. So in this case, my base chakra is actually already aligned. So I don't need to align it again. If I did, of course, you can stop now, of course. If I did, I would simply continue to hold the same chakra. And now I would let the chakra know to re-correct the flow. And hopefully, as we go up, we will find one of my chakras that is out so we can witness what it's like when we create the change. So once we're done, again, we can use the same pendulum or if we have the ability, we can swap. I'm going to pick up now and go with a carnelian crystal. Obviously orange resonating to our sacral chakra. Our sacral chakra is located roughly two inches below our belly button. So right in here. And it's one of the major emotional centers. So as we travel through lockdowns and through chaos, it is this chakra and the solar plexus above it to take a large, uh, a large impact of what we've been through. So now we're gonna ask the sacral chakra, the emotional center there, please pendulum, show me how my sacral's working. Okay, we're off and moving, but this one's a little bit out. And you should be able to notice from that that we're going a little bit more sideways, and we certainly don't have a circle, we have more of an oval going on. So this chakra isn't working quite as well as we would like it to work at the moment. So now I can see where it's at and you can see where it's at. We're gonna stop you there, Pendulum, you can stop. We'll just wait for it. And still continuing to hold the sacral chakra, I'm now gonna tell it to realign. So now, and obviously it can hear my subconscious, so it's beginning to do so already. And notice now how already what we're getting is a more fluent circle. It's moving clockwise, it's moving Sync, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Symmetrical, that's the word I'm looking for. As I've lost focus, the crystal lost it too. Uh, it's working in a very symmetrical round fashion. And what we can see from that is that my sacral chakra has now been aligned and is spinning in the vortex that it requires. And once we're done, we just let it know we're done. Thank you very much, Pendulum. I love to thank my crystals for the work they do. And we can place it down. The next crystal that we're gonna opt with is for the solar plexus chakra. The solar, the solar plexus chakra is located two inches above the belly button area. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna hold my hand on my sacral chakra, and I'm gonna ask the crystal to show me what it's doing. Can you show me what it's doing? Okay, and we've given it enough time to get moving into its fluence. When I, when I don't talk and move my arm with it, it's definitely more helpful. Um, but once again, we can see I've got a nice perfect circle going around and my sacral chakra is in good shape. So it is done, we don't need to realign. Thank you very much. We can put that down. And we can move along to our bridging chakra, which of course is often seen as green or as pink. So we've chosen a beautiful malachite crystal to realign the heart chakra. Like many of us, the heart has been on a journey, so I'm gonna place my left hand upon my heart and I'm gonna ask the pendulum to show me what my heart chakra is doing. See how open and flowing my heart is moving at this present time. Which again is good to see. We're giving it just a small amount of time and we can see that the pendulum's moving very fluently around perfectly in a clockwise vortex. So the heart chakra is all in alignment and I'm done again. Thank you very much. Moving up to one that a lot of people are struggling with right now, our throat chakra. For the throat chakra, I've chosen to go with the blue howlite. Resonating, of course, to the blue color, to cobalt blue, that is our throat chakra. 
simple enough. The throat chakra located directly at our throat helps us with the communication. So clearing up and rebalancing our throat chakra allows us to rebalance our communication, making sure we are working from a place of love, uh, from a place of calmness, not from a place of anger or frustration. Getting across what we wanna say very, very clearly, very fluently and very compassionately. So we're gonna ask now this crystal to show me what my throat chakra is doing. Okay, and what we can see from that is I'm getting a nice circle around. It's going clockwise, but it's not very wide. So it's not what I would call working well enough for me. So I'm actually gonna keep telling it and say, can you just realign that for me now? To realign it, I want you to go bigger and smoother all the way around. Okay, now we're going bigger and smoother all the way around. My throat chakra is aligned better than what it was. She's not surprising me that my chakras are all very, very close into alignment because I have done a lot of work on my chakras and healings of my emotional body and my self-awareness over, well, that is all I do. Um, so now we're gonna move along and we're gonna go up to our third eye chakra. For the third eye, there is a few different stones we could use. Lapis lazuli is definitely one. Uh, amethyst is one that can be related to the third, uh, sorry, to the third eye chakra or to the crown chakra. Um, and again, I'm not sure what I just mentioned, but we're gonna do the third eye chakra, which is located just between our two, our two eyes and raised up a little bit just above our brow, our third brow. And we're gonna do much the same thing. We're gonna place our left hand onto the third eye chakra and we're gonna ask the crystal to show me what it's doing. And this chakra is a chakra that needs a little bit of work on myself right now. We can see that I'm, not, I'm barely even getting an oval. It's basically moving straightwards, straight forward and back sideways, which is not the way we want it moving. So I'm gonna ask for my third eye to align, for the crystal to align my third eye chakra, and we'll begin to see that crystal moving more fluently. There it goes now. Now we can begin to see we've got a full circle now. We've no longer got our straight or our ovalish line and the third eye chakra has been realigned. Thank you again. And to finish off, we of course, our last chakra, last of our seven major chakras anyway, is located right at the top of our head. <coughs> It's our crown chakra. The crown chakra has a, a few different crystals that are aligned to it as well. Amethyst, as I already mentioned, is definitely one. I like to use clear quartz often. It's a very high vibration stone and resonates very well with the crown chakra. So we place our left hand onto our crown chakra above our head and we ask the, the pendulum the same way just to show us what that chakra is doing. This is the center that allows all our divine information and intuition to flow through, remember. Okay, it took half a second to get going, but it's working in a perfect clockwise circle as well. And the crown chakra is all into alignment. So now my physical, my energetic being within myself has been realigned, all of my chakra systems putting me in the perfect place for me to embrace the change of the journey that I'm on right now. Uh, it took me approximately five minutes to go through each chakra and have them realigned. We've also learned in this process how to realign someone else's chakra by lying them down and by placing the pendulum directly over their chakra. So hopefully you guys have learned a little bit today about realigning chakras with pendulum and of course if you'd like to know more information on this you can drop into shamanic rain at any time all the guys here know at least a little bit about this so you can come on in ask your questions teach us something new if you know something we don't we are up for learning for you too and together guys we'll expand and we'll recreate a, a more synchronized flow in all of our energetic systems as, as we embrace this beautiful transformation that Pachamama is going through we hope that helped much love and many blessings to you guys Okay guys, so we've had a look about how to realign our own chakra, starting with the base, of course. Um, but it's also important, especially for our family and friends, to understand how to realign their chakras. And it's a very, very simple process. We just get our, our friend, partner, whoever it might be, to lie down flat on the ground, like our beautiful model is for us here today. <laughs> uh, she always gets a little bit nervous, and that's what we love about this process. 
But you see we've got her lying down flat and the reason we've got her lying down flat is so the energy moves throughout her body right. If we've got her bent over and clocked up, we create a block in the energy field and what we're looking for right now is creating free flowing energy. So much like we did ourselves, again we're taking the, the crystals that link to each chakra and we're gonna start, we don't need to touch the person that we're doing this over. What we can do is simply hold the crystal above the chakra's location. So when we're working on the base chakra right down at the base of that spine, we hold the pendulum in this location. And exactly the same as we did for us, we now ask it to show us how the base chakra is working. Not very energetically. <laughs> Okay, and as you've seen um, on the one just prior, we get a nice fluent round clockwise circle. And right now we've got a very tiny little clockwise circle. So the base chakra is not working as, as well as it could be. And we are hoping that we've got a few chakras out here to show you guys. So now we've seen that it's not working to full capacity. We're just gonna ask it now to realign. And we already know what we're looking for in the pendulum. You see the pendulum now as it gets going. And it's just trying to sort itself out. It's got to build the energy flow itself. And there it goes now. And now we can see just like that, that we've got a clockwise circle going around and we've got a base chakra perfectly aligned. And we're basically continuing up through each of the chakra systems, holding it above. We're now low, again, two inches below the navel of the belly button there is where the sacral is located. And we're gonna ask it to show us what the sacral is doing. And I think I'll give some gratitude to Tori right now for allowing herself to have some chakras out deliberately, just so we could do this and show you what it looks like when chakras aren't aligned. So again, we've got it going forward and back just in a straight line, and that's not how we want to see the, shape, the, the sacral chakra working. So realign and get the sacral chakra working for us again properly. And you can see, as quick as I say it, the crystal begins to change to do what we need it to do. And the sacral chakra is now aligned. As simple as that. Solar plexus chakra, please show me what you're doing. Two inches above the belly button. Let's try that again. Solar plexus chakra, do you want to show me what you're doing? I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but it actually the pendulum's just shaking there. It's not actually doing anything, it's just shaking. So we need a bit of work in this one as well. So now we're just gonna read it to, to ask it to realign. So we're gonna realign that sacral chakra, get going in that beautiful circle for me. And we've got the circle going, but it's not quite big enough for me. So I'm gonna ask it just to get a little bit bigger, opening up the solar plexus even more. And now it's responded. Beautiful, we are done. On to the heart chakra. And I just wanna point out about now that when we see in all pendulums, we have a point at the end. This point is allowing the energy to be able to be pulled in and focused, channeled right out of that point very specifically. So what we're doing is channeling the energy through the crystal into the heart chakra through that point, And we're using the, what we would call an energy line between the point and the chakra to attach, to grab hold and to start spinning the chakra around. So it's a very simple process. And do you want to show us what the heart's doing? We know Tori has a beautiful heart, so we'll see what that's doing there. Okay, and it's definitely working. It's actually moving reasonably well, but we're gonna want that to move more fluently so it's more open, more connected with itself, with love for self, with love for others. So thank you, it started to realign instantly for me. Beautiful, and our heart's all in alignment. We move on to the throat chakra that we all struggled with recently. What is Tori's throat chakra doing? Holding it again, just above the throat and show me what it's doing. 
I think that right there is why Tori couldn't speak English earlier. <laughs> We noticed for a while she was struggling. I wondered if it was to do with the throat chakra. And I'm now thinking it might have something to do with that right there. Uh, so again, we're gonna ask it to realign. Realign, get her communication working for her. Because her communication is phenomenal for you guys and we all want her at her best, right? I'm gonna have no excuses now. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses anymore for great service, guys. Come on in. <laughs> ask for Tori specifically. <laughs> And look at that, as we talk about it, it's gone almost into the widest, most beautiful circle we've seen yet, and her throat chakra is realigned. Onto the third eye, quite mesmerizing if I watch this one as it happens. And show me what her third eye is doing. And this one's super cool and interesting, guys. I'm glad this took place in the video for you. Can you notice that we're going anti-clockwise? We've got our chakra spinning the wrong way. Not in a circle in the wrong way. So we're definitely wanting that to realign. This is the gateway for our intuition, the connection through to you know, what we can see and feel and receive. So definitely need to get that going better. Can you align that chakra for us, the third eye, please? And now it's important not just to cut um, cut it short, not just to see the crystal moving close enough and say that's good enough. You really want to be pedantic about getting that chakra working as good as it can. So yeah, it's a quick process, but just spend half a second longer, 30 seconds longer, allowing what we're seeing now and a bigger, wider, fluent circle from that crystal. And we know we've got the chakra in the best possible scenario to do its work. Thank you very much. And on to the last one, guys. Crown chakra again, located just above their head. It's a very calming and relaxing process for that person. And we're gonna ask it to show us what her crown chakra is doing. And we're seeing from that that it's moving clockwise. That's a good start. But it's a small circle and it's not all as fluent as we would like it to be. So we're just gonna ask it to recorrect itself and to get the chakra moving more fluently, bigger, more effectively. Well, slowly, so there it goes. It's off and going around right now opening up the crown chakra, connecting her to divinity and the greatest guidance and, and information she can receive. Thank you very much. And with that guys, we have now realigned ourselves and we have now realigned a family member, a loved one or a friend. It is as simple as that guys, the crystal pendulum, we have put ourselves into the best energetic state that we can be in to embrace the journey that we are on. It's been a pleasure, hope you learned something, much love.